What is going on guys, Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Destiny 2 video. In this video guys, we're going to be showing you a really easy strategy to complete the Nightfall this week on Prestige Difficulty. Prestige mode right now on the Nightfall is probably one of the hardest things to do in Destiny. Um, just because of the new uh, timer mechanic they added. Some of you may argue that maybe it's freaking impossible, but others obviously will say it's the easiest thing in the world. And Willis, why you need to make a video on this. But I wanted to show you guys what my team does to uh, complete this really efficiently. And what's going to help for you guys. So obviously you know guys, the giveaway for my Legendary Edition of Destiny 2 is ending in two days. Make sure to go enter it if you haven't already. Uh, all you have to do to enter is like the video, comment on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and obviously go enter through the Gleam link in the video description. But yeah, two days left on that so you won't be hearing about it again. Don't worry, but I'll have plenty more giveaways for you guys to come. So don't worry. So yeah. Let's run over what guns I'm using and class setup and all that. And then I'm going to leave you guys with our full run and show you the strategies and stuff like that. So I'm running a Night Stalker uh, Hunter. Um, this is actually the last character I made on PS4. So obviously I'm not the highest light level. I'm 302. Um, also, I just want to mention that I completed this uh, Prestige Nightfall with a blue weapon. And I'll go over uh, that in a minute. I know a lot of people are making fun of this weapon. But it's probably one of the best weapons in the game. So I'm running the Nameless Midnight. I have seen a lot of people run the Better Devils. I would have ran the Better Devils if I had a higher hand cannon. But honestly, I didn't feel like dropping down two light levels just to use a hand cannon. But if you have a Better Devils, uh, use it. Um, if you don't use the Nameless Midnight, it's still, it's still really, really good because of this uh, explosive payload perk. Um, so yeah, the blue weapon. What is it? It's the Madruga. Um, this is basically just a blue version of the Manana Nana Banana Gun, whatever you want to call it. But it's basically uh, the Nameless Midnight with an element on it, and it has lightweight, which lets you move really, really quick. Um, yeah, I would recommend getting a Arc Special Weapon, because there are a lot of Harpies in this raid that will screw you over if you do not take down the Arc Shield really, really quick. And I'm using the Sins of the Past Rocket, because it's probably one of the best uh, heavies in the game right now for DPS. Um, I was going to use the Ward Cliff, but I don't have a Rocket to infuse it to. I could do the Sins of the Past, but honestly, I want to keep two of them just in case. Uh, an MLG freaking rocket comes out somewhere, but yeah, uh, the setup I'm using is Invis Dodge. I'm using AOE Vortex Grenades, and I'm using the top subclass tree. Um, what your teammates can use is we had a Titan with two pulse grenades. That is probably what you will need is a Titan with two pulse grenades because the damage on those things are crazy. Honestly, if you ran this with three Titans, you'd you'd be you'd be so like it, you'd be done in like freaking five minutes. The damage on those things are crazy. Uh, you like get a titan with two pulse grenades, uh, maybe two titans, so you have four pulse grenades. Um, the thing on the nightfall right now is actually a modifier which allows your abilities to recharge really, really quick. So I can pretty much stay invisible as you watch the gameplay for like infinite amount of time, which is crazy. You have a set amount of time. There is no way to actually gain back time, unfortunately. So the thing we were doing is mainly sticking as a team, spamming our grenades, and yeah, using our grenades as the main source of damage. Make sure everybody has an AoE grenade on. We had a Warlock with a Healing Rift. Honestly, I would just scrap the Healing Rift and put on some Damage uh, damage Rift. Just because um, if you're going to get shot in the raid, it's probably going to one-shot you. You're not going to be able to sponge much. I mean, it's nice to heal up, but honestly, you want that extra damage. So, the whole first part of the uh, Nightfall is a breeze. Honestly, um careful just be very careful on the laser part we have to run through the lasers just because it can be a bit of a nightmare if you all wipe on the lasers that's like three minutes lost just faffling about like just wiping trying to respawn uh when you get to the point where you need to capture the plates what we like to do is i like to send like me basically because i can pretty much stay in my invis forever it's crazy if you have invis uh, smoke bombs which i should have been using uh you can pretty much just keep smoke bombing and you have infinite invisibility it's pretty like overpowered hunters can pretty much stay invisible this whole nightfall yeah it's crazy so i use myself to basically go activate the floor panels and i also use myself to go activate the ghost panels in the next section as you'll see so yeah it's recommended that you do have a night stalker hunter just so you can collect the plates a bit easier uh, some may argue, honestly, just run through it with three titans and pulse grenades. That might work. 
But it is nice to have that bit of a like tactical advantage with hunters and just being able to capture the points a bit easier. So that's pretty much the tactics we used for the first part of the raid. For the boss, what we basically did was we spammed our grenades on the boss. I know it sounds stupid and such an easy strategy, but it works. A lot of people forget they have unlimited recharge grenades and you get your grenade back in like a second and a half. It's crazy. So you want to spam grenades on the last boss. Once you have done that, obviously, you'll go into his phases, unlock the thing, and when you see the ads that are spawning outside his feet, what you need to do is you basically just need to rock it, use your heavy, spam grenades, honestly. This whole nightfall is a grenade spamming fest. It makes it a bit harder because it is the prestige and everything pretty much one shot you. But if I can do it wearing blue weapons, I'm pretty sure you guys can do it. So yeah, that's pretty much all the tips I can give right now is make sure you use your grenade whenever it's off cooldown. If you're not using an AoE grenade, switch subclass until you get an AoE grenade because they do insane damage. Like I said, the Titan pulse grenades just obliterate. They are insane. Use a Titan if you have one. Um, like I said, use a Hunter if you can. Warlocks, eh, they're kind of whatever. But if you can have two Hunters and maybe a Titan or two Titans and a Hunter, that would be the optimal setup. But I'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I helped you out with some tips and stuff like that. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to enter that Legendary Edition giveaway. This has been Willis Gaming and I will see you in my next video. Peace. seeing an unacceptable level of variance in my field instruments. I hypothesize taken interference. Eliminate them.
Asher can't figure out where you are. If he drops out, it's because he's thrown a tantrum and broken his microphone. I heard that, you wretch. <laughs> he feels safe saying such things because he is on IO and I am not. Interference notwithstanding, you should now face an amygdalin causeway. Proceed. Avoid the density matrix. Guardian down. You are certain that you know where they are? Nothing is certain in the pyramid. My hypotheses are mere approximation. Now we're looking at a scary bottomless pit. What? There is no pit. Only the fractal shores of a Radiolarian lake. This is nothing like Asher's stories of the Pyramidian. This is clearly some kind of trap. We're in some kind of interdimensional terminal. A synthoneural terminus. You're on Brachion's doorstep. Inform the Genesis mind that it has guests.
to end in a place of honor. If it's been destroyed, bring me the ashes. I have constructed. 